Good evening. So, as you can see on the screen, uh, each institute uh, uh, of excellence and SM Tech now is uh, going to offer a training program on Revit MEV, a BIM concept. Fine. On uh, from 18th of uh, June 2012. Fine. So, here uh, let me introduce or uh, let me give you a brief idea about the Revit MEV, a BIM concept. So, the, uh, the majority of people in the industry, the MEP industry, they are facing the difficulty because of uh, the coordination. And the Revit MEP, the concept is on BIM. So, what is the BIM? So, BIM is nothing but building information modeling. So, everything is uh, the complete data of MEP service is centralized in a particular location so that all the services will coordinate uh, easily and uh, uh, without any waste of time. So if you talk about CAD and if you compare with Revit, in CAD only we can go for uh, drafting. But here in Revit you can go for designing and again in CAD the different services is going to be uh, uh, draw, uh, this draft in a different files. But in Revit in a centrally located file all the services is going to be uh, done. So coordination point of view, so, suppose for example if, if that is running at a bottom of uh, 9 feet uh, and again the electrical people try to use that clearance fine so Revit MEP immediately stop that uh, or give the error message uh, and the electrical people can't use that uh, uh, space so the thing is the coordination point of view the Revit uh, give you the excellent uh, uh, capabilities and with that uh, coordination uh, we can save lot of time and we can save uh, this lot of uh, material and uh, uh, this uh, and we can do this uh, very easily. So this is not the, uh, that, uh, that is the, only the capacity. So just I have listed a key features you can see on screen. Uh, coordination between the MEP service, I have given a few, uh, one example, but uh, the more is uh, easier to explain. So operation of the software is parametric. Parametric means that we work on parametry in engine. For example, 2 plus 2 is 4. So if you change 2 plus 3, one parameter will change, the result will change. For example, uh, if you design a duct and uh, in the duct if you change the velocity what happened to the sizes or what happened to the pressure drop automatically the rivet will uh, will do that internally so the rivet work with a parametric engine not only within the service with other service Fine. and the third you see supports the design so basically this is a design tool not for drafting if you compare with the CAD in that you can go for this load calculation energy analysis, analysis and the features of this load calculation is more than the uh, software called HAP. So HAP is generally used for load calculation for big projects. But Revit, MEP offer more feature than HAP and this is only a part of that uh, Revit. And apart from that you can go for duct sizing, you can go for pipe sizing and the very useful feature of this Revit is auto layout of duct and pipe loading. So what happened? As per uh, experience, the people will go for duct routing and pipe routing and that, is, that will take a lot of time and as per experience they will maintain the, uh, that, uh, uh, the accuracy but Revit offer almost 6 to 10 different layouts for duct and there is an auto layout and if you choose according to the site condition we can just go for finish and this uh, the route will automatically convert to the duct so this is also one of the important future and logical and physical systems so the Revit offer the logical connection between the system. For example, A H you have the logical connection with uh, diffusers, and the children will have the logical connection with the A H U. So with the logical connection, we can get the complete detailed reports. So not only that is the end. So you can go for index analysis. That is the time consuming to select the fan and pump. So in that very easily one can do the index root selection, and one can find the pressure drop or pressure required to select the fan as well as one can go for uh, yeah, uh, go for the pump selection so just uh, let me uh, uh, give you okay, these are some more options uh, but because of time I am not going to take just directly to the uh, course detail uh, to, in order to learn that one basic knowledge of MVP design is must and uh, duration is 30 days and timing 7 to 9 pm and course total will provide soft copy and we are charging very nominal fee of 5000 because we are dealing with the society and when you it is at each office, I think all the people know about that. And uh, the system requirement, 
uh, since it's a software deal with all the services and uh, with the background services, so minimum P4 or above processor is required. And RAM 2GP and Victor is 4 uh, for learning point of view. Again, for company side, it may require more than that. And hard disk minimum file uh, space. Any technical information or anything, you can go for communication with this model. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, now I request uh, Sanil Mule.